I'm in concrete Washington State looking down some old tracks that are all leaf covered and you know I look around and what do I find what I find is an old train car this this is one of those ones that you would get on to uh, and travel long distances it's like a sleeper car I think um, I can't really get into it can't get inside but man there's some really cool stuff here it's it's definitely seen its better days it's it's a little on the on the rusty and crusty side but it's fairly complete it seems here's your 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 latching system right here and your coupler right here it's all looks fairly complete your air brake system your air coupler to go between cars and I do believe that this right here your sewer dump. Yeah, that's where you go to the bathroom at. Now it's old, but it's not that old because if you look right here, you have disc brakes on this train. Now I don't know when they started putting disc brakes on train cars, but I think that's pretty sweet. And it's still sitting on the track, so we could conceivably go somewhere. I do think it'd take a little bit of rehab to get it to where it was track worthy. But it, it's got all the, the trucks that it needs. Shock absorbers. Look at that. It's a shock absorber. I'm telling you. That is one massive spring. A spring inside a spring inside a spring. It's got Timken trucks. See that right there? This is a storage locker underneath. We'll show you the inside here. Yeah, there it is. They go through, you can store stuff. It's not sure what they stored down here. Maybe you can tell me. If you know. Here's a patch. It looks like a plug-in of sorts. Probably shore power when you're at the station. But it's not hooked to anything anymore. All these air valves and stuff underneath. This is so cool. See all the old workings or air storage tanks. That looks like a water storage tank. No doubt for the amenities in the car. All here. Different hatches and valves and pipes and tubes and all that cool stuff. This one looks like it's got an inspection cover off. Not sure what it is, but looks electrical. Looks like it's an electric generator or electric motor. Some big, huge wires coming out of it. The one right there. See, that's a, that's a big wire right there. And another one there. It comes out to this big junction box. I'm sure somebody can tell me what all this stuff is for. There's another uh, fuse panel in here behind the weeds. This is like a this is like a barn find train edition. I'm telling you. Oh, look at that. This is the women's bathroom even labeled down here it looks like a differential of some kind on the rear axle probably to drive a generator I bet you that's what this is here you have on this truck a, a differential with the drive shaft coming out of it which would have a drive shaft that went through these two containment loops to run a generator and that would power the lights and everything else. That totally makes sense. Because this isn't the locomotive, obviously. But you wouldn't want to 
try to run everything off a of locomotive power. And here you have, it says plunger out, brakes on, bud disc brakes. So you have bud disc brakes on a Timken truck. And you can see, look at the, look at the sides here, all rusty and crusty and boarded up windows. Definitely this has been here for a day or two. Here's, here's the ramp up in. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get inside here because it is boarded off and graffitied over and I try not to film any of the disgusting graffiti which sadly gets on this. There used to be stairs right there. This side's pretty rusty. Now here's a big barn that's next to it. So here's the barn in the barn find. Those big doors would roll back, back when they would. But now there's a fence in the way to roll back. So obviously this side hasn't been opened in ages. This side looks like it would still open. But the tracks run through the grass here, right into the shed. If you walk up here, you'll see, see they're still tracked right here. See that? And they run right into the barn. And here you see the back end of the train, the big plate that fits up against the next train car. I do believe this is a sleeper. I don't know, if you, want, if you know any history on something like this, there's some kind of a data plate here, I'll film that. I'm not an expert on trains, so I really don't know what I'm looking at all the time. But that should tell you some st information about it, I would think. Here's the brakes on this side. That looks like an exhaust vent. Got a little flapper valve here, blows open and slaps shut. And they just boarded this thing up. 